Texas and Seattle from Arlington. Pretty cool that on the 67th anniversary of Jackie Robinson breaking baseball's color barrier, the opposing managers were Ron Washington and Lloyd McClendon. Blake Bevin getting his first start of the season in place of the injured lefty James Paxton facing Prince Fielder in the second. That ball's hit pretty well. Deep right center field. Way back goodbye. <laughs> Fans been waiting to cheer for that one of those. That was a line shot. Ten rows back in center field. One to nothing, Texas. The next batter is Kevin Kuzminoff. It's the first back-to-back -back homers of the season for the Rangers. Texas threatening again in the third, but Elvis Andrews grounds into the double play. But as we take another look, watch as the ball bounces off Brad Miller's wrist and turns out to be a perfect flip to Robinson Cano, who fires over the first to complete the double play. Elvis Andrews can't believe it. Robbie Ross making his third Major League start. In the fifth, Brad Miller's bunt goes right back up to Ross, who ends the inning. Then in the sixth, Robinson Cano grounds out sharply to shortstop. In the top of the seventh, Mike Zanino with the grounder to left side. And again, it's Andrews who guns it over the first from shallow left field this time to get the out. Ross through seven scoreless innings. Alexi Agondo on in relief in the eighth with two on and two out. And Dustin Ackley flies out to left to end the threat. Ross and Johnny Football like what they see. The Mariners stay off the board. Bottom of the eighth, Kevin Kuzminoff back for more. It's a double off of Tom Wilhelmsen. That plates Andrews and Fielder. It's 4-0 Rangers. Kuzminoff going three for four with a home run, two doubles, three RBIs, and two runs scored. Texas goes on to win it 5-0. Ross picks up his first win of 2014, going seven and two-thirds, allowing five hits and no runs. Blake Bevin goes just four innings and takes the loss. The Rangers with their fourth shutout in 14 games this season.